switching up who you vote for. Wichita school board members discussing a potential change to how members are elected. If approved by the board tonight, the change would appear on the November general election ballot. Jessica Watson joins us live outside North High. Jessica, many people are outspoken about this issue. Jeff, Emily, more than 13 people have signed up to talk about this potential election change. The president of the the excuse me of the school board says this this change in how presidents are elected could simplify the voting process. Our problem is we every time we try to explain our system to the voters there it's confusing matter of fact i get confused sometimes right now there are six districts that make up usd 259 in a primary election when candidates run for a position on the board in a district only those who live in that district can vote on those particular candidates in a general election everyone can vote for all the candidates in all the districts monday's discussion could let voters change that process hopefully we're putting a ballot question question for the voters to decide in November on whether or not to go district only elections. Meaning the process for the primary election would remain the same for the general election. Community advocate Luanda DeShazer says this change would let neighborhoods decide who they want to represent their district. I do believe that there's um, the possibility of the district saying we want this po this person right and but then when you open it up to the entire city that person could lose. The president of the board, Stan Reeser, says the school board is the only election body that opens up the vote to everybody in the general election. He says he hopes everyone on the board all votes to let the public decide on this change. Even if you disagree with, uh, if you're satisfied with the current confusing system, we could still put it on the ballot and let the uh, voters decide. So if school board members vote to move this forward, it will become a ballot question in this upcoming November election for the public to decide if they want to move to district-only voting. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.